Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to mount a veranda concrete base mount to concrete with a uh, uh, vinyl composite sleeve that will go over top here once completed. This is the actual mount for the next one. This one's done. And then what I'll do is I'll show you how to mount one in this section right here. Okay, first thing we're going to do is lay a template down. Comes with an extra plate for mounting. And what I'm doing is I'm measuring in an inch and a quarter and an inch and a quarter. And the reason being is remember we have a skirt panel that's going to go around that, which will hide the bolts. Flush it all out, so that'll make it look nice. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to draw that template out. We're going to make circles for each one so we have four holes so we know where to work. Okay, now if you draw your little circles here, move your template, and you can see a lot of sun here, but you can see there's four individual marks here that are going to be bored. Now what I like to use for a bore bit, okay, is on this one I use quarter inch anchors. So what we're going to use here is a quarter inch, you can see with the sun glare, it's a quarter inch Bosch stick, uh, I'm sorry, a quarter inch Bosch mason bit. And then what I like to install with, I have a rigid hammer drill, which is ideal for concrete. The hammer drill will vibrate up and down, and, and as you're drilling it will actually bang into uh, the concrete and assist with the drilling. So it's a carbide kit. Get the bit. You can see hole number one, and then you do each three uh, three other holes. Then when you're done, you blow the dirt off with a brush or something, and then rebore just to get the powder out of the hole. And then that particular location will be uh, set up to uh, to adhere for the post. Okay, so we'll come back in. Okay, as you can see, all four holes are now bored, and you're just going to dust them out. Just to get rid of the soot powder. And then just run your drill through it again just to make sure they're clean. Okay, here's what I like to use for anchors on this particular type of uh, composite vinyl. Alright, I'm using a two and a half inch wedge anchor. It's an anchor, a washer, and a nut. And just so you know, this particular one's a quarter inch by two and a quarter inch. Okay, and I'll show you how to assemble that to the concrete. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to position um, the post mount bracket over top of your holes. You're going to set that gingerly in the hole. Bring your nut up to about the size of the stud. You don't want to smash the stud. And gently tap it in. So it rests itself in the concrete. You may have to adjust the nut to bring it up. You don't want to over hit. You don't want to smash it. You don't want to mushroom it. If for some reason it's not going in, you either use the wrong size bit, okay, or your whole alignment is off. And I bring it down almost to flush, okay, and we'll come back when the other three are installed. Okay, now you can see all four are installed. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your ratchet for whatever size anchor you're using. You're going to start snugging them up a little at a time, kind of like a tire lug nut. You don't want to hump down on one at the same time. I'm going to do a few turns, work your way around, and then do a few turns, work your way around. And the idea now is so you don't put uh, too much pressure on any one particular mount. And this way you get a nice even pull all the way down. Now what happens is when you're turning this, those wedges will pull up into the concrete, they'll get stuck, 
and this flare on the bottom of the mount will actually spread that down it, and that's what keeps the stud from uh, uh, I'm sorry, that's what keeps the stud from pulling up and out of the ground. So if you have to shim it because of an uneven area, you can always add a shim. I'll show you with the nail here. You can always add a shim underneath of any section of it. You can buy split wedge uh, shims, but I recommend you use a composite shim. And then you can just tilt it, put it under, remount it, and the idea in that is this way you can get a level with it and uh, get the best possible mount that you can have, you know, based on your set and your bubble level. And that's the best thing that I can tell you to do. Okay, to finish off your post, you grab your sleeve, you have an insert that came with the actual mount. Put in one end, turn it upside down, the channel fit. Slide it straight down. You can take your top, as you can see inside. Okay, you get directions here. As you'll see inside, there's your sleeve. And obviously it's wobbled, so that's what this does. This will actually position this and keep it in a rigid form. And then that's the end of the post installation. Now, keep in mind for this, the finished product, before the rail section goes in, it gets the bottom skirt like this applied over that'll cover up the mechanical okay top gets its own cap and then the actual rail section is ready to be installed thanks for watching